Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the Quran, وَلَا يَغْتَبْ بَعْدُكُمْ بَعْضًا That some of you should not backbite others. You shouldn't talk about other people behind their backs. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells, commands us in the Quran, اِتَّقُوا اللَّهَ وَقُولُوا قَوْلًا سَدِيدًا Develop God consciousness and only speak good things, say good things. The Prophet sallallahu says, مَنْ كَانَ يُؤْمِنُ بِاللَّهِ وَالْيَوْمِ الْآخِرِ فَلْيَقُلْ خَيْرًا أَوْ لَيَسْمُتْ That whosoever believes in God in the last day should say good things or rather remain quiet. The Prophet of Allah Sallallahu tells us that Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala says that somebody who abstains from food and water but then doesn't control what they're saying, he doesn't watch what they're saying, but they go about backbiting and talking about other people behind their backs and you know mocking other people, then Allah has no need for that person to starve themselves and deprive themselves from food and water and drink. So therefore it's very important that this month of Ramadan we use the opportunity of fasting and the God consciousness that it provides to discipline our tongues to not talk about other people. The Prophet of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, you know, he gives us such hope and inspiration about the potential and the possibilities that we all have. Where he says, مَن يَضْمَنُ لِي مَا بَيْنَ لِحْيَيْهِ وَمَا بَيْنَ رِجْلَيْهِ أَضْمَنُ لَهُ الْجَنَّةِ The Prophet ﷺ says, Whosoever can give me, can guarantee to me that they will be careful about their tongue and about their modesty, about their decency, they won't engage in any type of you know wrong sexual activity, they can be careful about what they say and how they conduct themselves sexually. The Prophet ﷺ says, I give that person the guarantee of paradise. We are guaranteed paradise if we can learn to control our tongues during this month of Ramadan. So I want you to think about the words of the Prophet ﷺ when he says, مِنْ حُسْنِ إِسْلَامِ الْمَرْءِ تَرْكُهُ مَا لَا يَعْنِيهِ From the perfection of one's practice of Islam is leaving those things that don't concern you, learning to mind your own business, and that will lead us to what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us was the objective of fasting, لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ We become more God conscious and more aware of even our own conscience conduct and behavior. So this Ramadan, try to stop talking about other people. Don't worry about what other people are doing. Worry about you. Worry about your relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and what you can do to become a better person.